Allahu Akbar. Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, my name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, Kashmir. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams a lot of the time they're um you know in person and so we have our poets go up on stage they compete for trophies um and prizes and we just have a good time it's basically to platform the muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of islam through the art of spoken word poetry um so it's a creative yes. art it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem. So how deep is the lyrical content? how um how relevant is it to the audience how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem and second of all um the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience so it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper it's about how that message is delivered um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate. So no curse words, um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them. And that's something very personal. And we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so, yeah. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. Assalamu As alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have, Tahani, your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theatre in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Okay. Um, so, welcome. Okay, so we will now. 
um, Kashmir, um, so we have actually a very, very young contestant, and I know it's getting late right now, so I was wondering if maybe we could have her on, inshallah. She's like only 10 years old, and her name is Maryam. What do you think? Okay, perfect. Yeah, Maryam? Yes, she's right here. Okay, perfect. Maryam. Hi. Um, now, just introduce yourself and then go for it, sister. The stage is yours. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Marim Hassanein. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm 10 years old and um, I love anything that uh, involves the pen and paper. So um, my poem is about um, COVID-19 and I will now start. Faces being covered, doors being closed, people hiding away, not a face on the road. Six feet apart, people say, stay in your homes. I know it's for the best, but I don't think I can bear it anymore. I stay in my home with nothing to do. But is this quarantine all bad, or is there anything good too? I know it seems bad, people keep saying, but there is always a bright side to everything. And gradually, over time, I have begun to believe what I once called lies because every disease has a cure and very soon COVID-19 will leave us pure. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, sister. That was beautiful. Jazakallah khair. And it's very, very relevant to everything that's happening right now. We really appreciate you sharing your work and and your mom as well advocating for you and she really, really loves you and she really wanted you to be a part of this. So we're happy that you were a part of this and we're sorry it went on a little bit later than usual to you and our audience. Um, Jazakallah khair again, sister. Uh, Tahani, Maryam, Kashmir, Maryam, anything? Yeah, I just want to ask, how old is Maryam? I'm 10. You're 10 years old and you wrote that all by yourself? Very wow. talented. Yeah. Sorry, Tahani, I spoke over you. Sorry, no, I spoke over you. I got so excited. <laughs> I, I can't her it. name the same way I spell my daughter's name, so I got very excited. I want to put her the winner. That's it. Khalas <laughs> Khalina, no, we're going home. Jazakallah khair so much, Miriam. We're very proud of you as a ten-year-old. You're an inspiration to so many people who are younger and older than you. So Jazakallah khair. Yeah. Um, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success, and I can say alhamdulillah from the bottom of my heart. I think this was phenomenally successful. So, jazakallah khair. I want to say a special jazakallah khair to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother. So, you know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties. So, you may Allah reward you for that. And, um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited from the event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you can see me now. Um, no further ado. Uh, you can find The Strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Assistant Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Ikna. Of course, Ikna. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly i just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces each one was mind-blowing and touched my heart and i'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years as tahani and as aisha can both attest to we had an amazing level of talent tonight um so may allah reward you all and yeah i'm gonna close it right there and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh